Hi, I'm Fariha. And I'm Elijah. And, and we're, we're explainers, explainers at the New York Hall of Science. Science. I recently got my wisdom teeth removed, and it got me wondering why we even have wisdom teeth in the first place. Yeah, I heard they don't seem to have a purpose and can sometimes be quite painful. So we did some research, and it turns out it actually has a lot to do with the way we evolved as a species. What we found was so mind-blowing that we decided to make a video to share what we learned with you. But of course, we can't talk about evolution without mentioning one of our exhibits here at NYSI, Charlie and Kiwi's Evolutionary Adventure. NYSI may be closed right now, but we can take NYSI to you. So let's explore some of the main concepts behind Charlie and Kiwi. A lot of birds use their wings to avoid predators and look for food. But if you're a kiwi bird from New Zealand, whose predators can fly and hunt you in the air, it might be better to stay on the ground. As a species reproduces, the traits of the offspring can vary. Some kiwis may be able to fly, others may not. The kiwis that can fly get eaten more often. Those that stay safe on the ground survive and multiply. Over time, the flying kiwis die out, and the flightless ones pass the flightlessness onto their offspring. This process is called natural selection. As environments change, traits that were previously favorable may no longer offer an advantage. If the trait doesn't harm the species, there's no reason for the species to lose it through evolution. These are called vestigial traits. Take wisdom teeth as an example. Our ancestors had larger jaws to digest tough plant material, but as our diets changed, our jaws evolved to be smaller. Wisdom teeth don't fit in our mouths anymore, and they don't really serve much of a purpose. They are vestigial. Sometimes they can even crowd other teeth painfully, and some people need to have them removed, such as myself. Goosebumps are another example of a vestigial trait. Why do we get them? Is it our spidey senses tingling? Well, kind of. If we look at other mammals, like cats, in survival situations, their fur will stick out to seem bigger and intimidating, or will flare out when scared. We've evolved to have less hair on our bodies than a cat or a caveman, but the goosebumps remain when we're scared or unsettled by our environment. Hmm, now that I think about it, the only time I get goosebumps is when I'm really cold, or when I'm watching horror movies. Talk about modern day survival instincts. Humanity is still evolving, and we're starting to lose some of our vestigial traits. If you touch your thumb and pinky fingers together like this, and bend your wrist forward slightly, you may see a vestigial muscle called the palmaris longus running down your arm from the wrist. Fariha and I both have it. But if you don't, don't worry. An estimated 15% of people don't have this muscle. We just so happen to be the 85% of people that have the palmaris longus. Cool! Today we learned that vestigial traits like goosebumps, wisdom teeth, and the palmaris longus demonstrate how we evolved. If you want to learn more about evolution, you can check out our exhibit, Charlie and Kiwi's Evolutionary Adventure, at the New York Hall of Science when we reopen. And if you want to experience more on this topic from home, there's also a book called Charlie and Kiwi, an Evolutionary Adventure. This book is available at bookstores, and we'll leave some links below in the description. Until then, I'm Fariha. And I'm Elijah. And if you like this video, leave a like and check out some of our other videos.